What's up guys, this is Jared from Build Kit Boards, and in today's video, we're gonna be assembling the BKB Duo DIY electric skateboard kit. If you're not familiar with the BKB Duo, it is a high performance DIY electric skateboard kit that is easy to assemble, requires no programming or soldering, and all the tools required for assembly are included in the kit. You can learn more by visiting the link in the description, but for now, let's get started with the assembly. The first step is to install the bearings into the wheels. You're going to slide one bearing onto the truck and then push the wheel on and this will easily install the bearing. Then you're going to take another bearing, slide that onto the truck, then add a spacer and push in the bearing, just like that. You're going to want to then repeat this for all four wheels. Next, we're gonna assemble the trucks. Remove one lock nut, bushing, and washer from each base plate. Then, add the hanger and place the bushing and washer back onto the truck. Secure everything with the lock nut and repeat the process to assemble the other truck. Then, we are going to add the wheels. Remove one lock nut and washer from each side of the front truck. Slide the wheels on with the words facing outwards and secure them by reapplying the washer and lock nut. Now it's time to assemble the drivetrain. Place the motor with the O sticker onto the motor mount with a dot on each side. Position the wire as shown and secure the motor using four M4 bolts located in the motor hardware bag. Then repeat this process to secure the other motor to the motor mount. Next, we're going to install the motor pulleys. Take the motor pulley and align the top of the motor pulley to the flat spot on the motor shaft. Then you're just gonna press it on. Then you're just going to take your Allen key and tighten up the motor pulley. Then you're going to repeat this process for the other motor. Then you're going to slide the left motor mount onto the rear truck. Remove the lock nut and washer from the left side of the truck. After that, you're going to slide the motor pulley onto the truck and then take a wheel and slide that on as well. Then you're going to want to secure everything with the washer and lock nut that you took off earlier. Use the motor mount spacer to align the motor mount and then secure it with the two M6 bolts. You're then going to repeat the same process to install the motor mount on the other side. After that, you're going to remove the lock nut, washer, and wheel to install the belt. Place the belt around the wheel and motor pulley, and then pull back on the motor to apply tension. You're then going to tighten these four screws to keep the tension. Then you're going to repeat the same process on the other side. After that, you can reinstall the wheels on each side and secure them with a washer and lock nut. Place four truck bolts through the holes at the top of the deck and add a riser. Slide the front truck onto the bolts and secure with four lock nuts. Now 
Now it's time to secure the drivetrain. Place the other four bolts through the back of the deck and add a riser. Then slide the drivetrain onto the bolts and secure the two rearmost bolts with lock nuts. Then you're going to add a wire clip to the motor wires and secure these to the two front truck bolts with lock nuts. Now it's time to work on the electronics. Add the heatsink to the back of the ESC using two M3 bolts. Then you're going to secure the heatsink to the enclosure using the M3 by 8 volts. After that, you're going to remove the lock nut from the switch and charge port to get them ready to mount in the enclosure. Then slide them into the enclosure and mount them with the lock nuts. Next, you're going to peel the backing off of the receiver and place it in the enclosure. Then you're going to plug in the switch to the ESC. After that, you're going to peel the paper off of the battery gasket and place it in the enclosure. Then you can plug in the charge port. After you make sure that the switch is off, you can plug the battery into the ESC. Then plug in the Bluetooth receiver. Then you're going to place the six enclosure bolts through the deck. After that, you're going to peel the paper backing off of the gasket and place it firmly onto the deck. Then remove the two lock nuts from the cable glands and slide them into the enclosure. After that, secure the cable glands to the enclosure with the lock nuts that you just removed. After that, plug in each of the yellow motor connectors and sensor wires. Now it's time to secure the enclosure to the deck. You're going to peel off the thin piece of paper around the outside of the gasket and then flip over the enclosure and place it onto the bolts. Now secure the enclosure using a rubber washer, metal washer, and lock nut for each bolt.
The last step is to add a wire clip to each motor wire and secure that to the deck. That's it. You've just built yourself a high performance DIY electric skateboard. The great thing about building it yourself is that you learn about all of the individual components along the way. There's no better feeling than riding a board that you built, so go out and have some fun. Always remember to wear a helmet and check over the board after your first ride. Please consider subscribing as we have a bunch of other videos planned and check the link in the description to learn more about the BKB Duo.